10 Mysterious Moon Facts From the presence of earthquakes caused by cold to the strange lights without explanation, despite being our natural satellite, the moon is full of mysteries and unique phenomena. Get ready because we will show you 10 impressive mysteries about the moon. Number 10. Transient Light Phenomena These are among the most exciting and enigmatic mysteries observed on the moon. These events are bright flashes that appear on the lunar surface and are characterized by briefness and high luminosity. Transient light phenomena has been observed for centuries, but only in recent years have accurate images and data been captured for study. Despite advances in lunar technology and exploration, what causes these flashes is still unknown. One of the most accepted theories is that meteorite impacts on the lunar surface produce transient light phenomena. These impacts generate a lot of energy released in the form of light. However, scientists have also observed flashes that do not appear to be related to meteorite impacts, suggesting that there may be other causes for these phenomena. Another theory is that electrical discharges produce flashes in the lunar atmosphere which, although very faint, exist. Studying transient light phenomena is essential to understand the moon and space better. Furthermore, these flashes may have important implications for future exploration and colonization of the moon. Although much remains to be discovered about this mysterious phenomena, researchers continue to advance thanks to constantly improving technology and space exploration. Number 9. Lunar Exosphere Believe it or not, the Moon has an exosphere. The outermost layer of the lunar atmosphere located around 1,000 kilometers above the lunar surface. Unlike Earth, the lunar exosphere is highly tenuous and mostly comprised of charged particles known as ions and electrons. The lunar exosphere is a hostile environment exposed to solar radiation and solar winds, which can affect its composition and dynamics. The ions and electrons in the lunar exosphere result from the Moon's interaction with solar radiation and winds. This is a place of great interest to scientists because its study can help understand better the interaction between the Moon and outer space and the atmosphere of other celestial bodies. Furthermore, the lunar exosphere may have important implications for future exploration and colonization of the Moon. One mission that has helped study the lunar exosphere is the Lunar Atmosphere and Dust Mission Environment Explorer LADEE, launched by NASA in 2013. The LADEE mission was designed to study the atmosphere and dust environment on the Moon, including the lunar exosphere. The data collected by the LADEE mission have helped improve its understanding and importance for space exploration. Number 8. Volcanic Activity Although volcanic activity on the Moon is considered extinct, there is evidence that the Moon was once a much more active and tumultuous place. Volcanic activity on the Moon is believed to have begun about 4.5 billion years ago, shortly after the Moon's formation. During this period, the Moon was struck by meteorites and other celestial bodies. The energy released by these collisions caused the interior of the Moon to melt and lava and volcanic gases to escape. Although most volcanic activity on the Moon stopped about 3.5 billion years ago, scientists can still see the evidence of it in the form of impact craters surrounded by deposits of volcanic material. Furthermore, volcanic gases in lunar rock samples suggest volcanic activity on the Moon could have continued until about 1.2 billion years ago. Volcanoes on the Moon are very different from those on Earth in that they are not cone-shaped and do not emit ash but are flatter and the lava that erupted from them millions of years ago stretched for thousands of kilometers. Volcanoes on the Moon are also bigger than those on Earth due to a lack of erosion by water and the atmosphere. Number 7. The Moon has no magnetic field of its own Unlike the Earth, the Moon does not have a magnetic field. Earth's magnetic field is generated by the dynamo in the planet's outer core, where the movement of liquid iron produces electrical currents that generate the magnetic field. However, the Moon does not have a liquid core to generate a magnetic field. Instead, the Moon is surrounded by Earth's magnetic field, which extends to the Moon as a magnetic tail. This is due to the interaction between the solar wind and the Earth's magnetic field, which produces a zone of magnetic influence called the magnetosphere. 
Earth's magnetosphere extends beyond the Moon, so the Moon lies within its magnetic field. The absence of an appropriate magnetic field on the Moon has several consequences. First, the Moon's surface is more exposed to the effects of the solar wind, which can erode and change the composition of the lunar surface. Second, the lack of a magnetic field also means that the Moon does not have a significant atmosphere, since a magnetic field helps retain an atmosphere around a celestial body and prevents gases from being swept away by radiation from the Sun. Number 6. Helium-3 Helium-3 is an isotope of helium that is believed to be an ideal fuel for nuclear fusion. Unlike nuclear fission, which produces radioactive waste, Nuclear fusion is a cleaner energy source. Helium-3 is a desirable fuel because it does not produce neutrons in fusion, reducing radioactivity risks and making waste less problematic. The Moon is believed to have large reserves of helium-3, which was accumulated on the lunar surface over billions of years by the solar wind. Helium-3 on the Moon is found at a concentration of 5 to 10 parts per trillion meaning there are about 1.1 million tons of helium-3 on the Moon's surface. Extracting helium-3 from the Moon could be a cost-effective and sustainable way to obtain fuel for nuclear fusion. However, the technology needed to extract and transport helium-3 from the Moon is not yet developed and would be expensive. In addition, there is no established commercial market for helium-3, so the economic feasibility of the lunar extraction of helium-3 has not yet been explored. Despite these challenges, the Moon's potential as a source of nuclear fusion fuel has been the subject of interest from governments and private companies. Exploration and exploitation of the Moon's resources, including helium-3, could play an essential role in the future of clean and sustainable energy. Number 5. Cold Earthquakes In 2009, NASA reported that data collected by the Lunar Reconnaissance Spacecraft Orbiter LRO, indicated the existence of a phenomenon known as a cold tidal wave on the lunar surface. This phenomenon occurs when the temperature of the lunar surface changes dramatically in a single lunar night. The Moon has no atmosphere to retain heat, which means its surface temperature can vary wildly. During the lunar night, which lasts about 14 Earth days, the temperature on the lunar surface can drop to minus 173 degrees Celsius. During the lunar day, which also lasts about 14 Earth days, the temperature can rise to over 100 degrees Celsius. However, the LRO data indicates that the lunar surface temperature can change dramatically in a single lunar night. This is because craters and mountains on the lunar surface can block sunlight and create rapidly cooling shadow areas. The temperature in these shaded areas can rise dramatically when the sun rises again after a lunar night. The rapid temperature change can cause the lunar surface to crack and break, causing a tidal wave-like effect. The cold tidal wave on the Moon reminds us of the complexity and diversity of geological processes that occur in our solar system. Although the Moon may seem like an inert and lifeless place, it is a busy, fascinating world full of mysteries and unique phenomena. Number 4. Meteoroid Swarms the Moon is exposed to constant meteoroid impacts as a celestial body in our solar system. These small rocky bodies drifting through space can collide with the lunar surface, leaving craters and scarring the surface. However, meteoroid swarms exist on the Moon in addition to individual impacts. These swarms are groups of meteoroids that travel together on a standard trajectory, increasing the probability of impacts on the Moon. Meteoroid swarms on the Moon can be caused by various factors, such as Earth's gravity, gravitational interaction with other celestial bodies, or proximity to near-Earth asteroids. These swarms can last from a few days to several weeks and can be high enough in density to be detected by lunar orbiting scientific instruments. Meteoroid impacts can provide information about the composition of the Moon and the frequency of impacts in the Solar System. In addition, studying meteoroid swarms on the Moon can provide valuable information for space exploration and the protection of astronauts on future lunar missions. Number 3. Pits The pits are a unique geological feature of the Moon. These are small, deep craters with no raised walls or rims like typical craters. Instead, the pits have a flat structure and a depression in the center. 
Pits are formed when the roof of an underground lava cavern collapses, leaving a depression on the surface. These lava caverns are believed to have formed billions of years ago when the moon was still geologically active and volcanically active. These craters are difficult to detect from Earth due to their small size and flat shape. They were first discovered in 2009 by the Lunar Reconnaissance spacecraft NASA Orbiter. The study of the pits can provide valuable information about the geology and evolution of the moon. Most of the pits are considered in regions with volcanic activity in the past suggesting that the moon was geologically active for a long time. In addition, the pits may also be necessary for future lunar missions. Some of these craters may provide a natural shelter for astronauts and their equipment, shielding them from radiation and extreme temperature fluctuations on the lunar surface. They can also be used as locations for exploring underground caverns and studying the composition and internal structure of the moon. Number 2 Moon Rocks on Earth Moon rocks are of great interest to scientists, as they contain valuable information about the history of the Moon and the solar system. Since the Apollo 11 mission brought the first sample of lunar rock to Earth in 1969, about 382 kilograms of lunar rocks and soil have been collected. However, the rocks brought to Earth by astronauts are not the only ones that come from the Moon. In 1979, on Antarctica's frozen continent, the first lunar meteorite, Yamato 791197, was discovered. These meteorites, also known as lunar meteorites, are fragments of lunar rock or soil that were ejected from the Moon by meteorite impacts and traveled through space before falling to Earth. No specific crater provenance of any lunar meteorite has been positively identified. However, a study revealed that the Sea al Uhamir 169 meteorite could come from the 25-kilometer diameter the Lone Impact Crater south of the Moon. Lunar meteorites are important to scientists because they offer a unique opportunity to study the chemical and mineralogical composition of the Moon without the need for a human crewed or robotic mission. Additionally, lunar meteorites can help scientists confirm the age and geological history of the Moon. More than 300 lunar meteorites have been found on Earth with weights ranging from a few grams to more than 18 kilograms. Most of these meteorites have been found in desert regions such as the Sahara and Antarctica, where they are easier to spot due to their dark color and relatively large size compared to other meteorites. Number 1. Earth Light Earth Light, also known as Earth Glow, occurs when the Earth reflects sunlight in the direction of the Moon. This occurs when the Earth is in its complete phase and the Moon is in its new Moon phase. The effect is a faint but visible glow on the lunar surface. Earth's glare doesn't affect the Moon much since the amount of reflected light is minimal compared to the direct sunlight the Moon receives. However, the phenomena is interesting to astronomers and scientists studying the Moon, as it can be used to determine the reflectivity of the lunar surface. Additionally, observation of Earth's glow can be used by astronauts on lunar missions to determine their position on the lunar surface. By looking at the position and brightness of Earth's glow, astronauts can pinpoint their location more precisely. The Moon remains one of the universe's most fascinating celestial bodies. The mysteries surrounding this natural satellite never cease to amaze us. Every day new and exciting revelations are discovered about it. Would you like to know more mysteries and exciting facts about the Moon? Let us know your opinion with your valuable comment.